Hi, fifth grade, it's Mrs. Feathers. We're going to go over your grammar practice pages for the week. This week you are assigned pages 61 to 64. Your first page will be assigned and due on Monday. It is page 61. On this page, we're looking at main and helping verbs. The box at the top states that the main verb shows what the subject does or is. A helping verb helps the main verb show an action or make a statement. Some helping verbs include has, had, have, am, is, are, was, and were. Sentences can be in the active or passive voice. So the active voice means that the subject is doing something, and in the passive voice, the subject is the object of an action. That'll make more sense when we do some examples here. Number one, well first the directions state to read each sentence, underline each main verb, and circle each helping verb. Then write on the line whether the sentence is in active voice or passive voice. So remember from fourth grade that an easy way to identify a helping verb is that it comes right before the main verb. So I think it's easiest to find the main verb first. Number one says, I am helping my sister with her science project. The lines and circles are already done for you, so you'll just click and drag. Again, I think it's easiest to find the main verb. Helping is the main verb in this sentence. And the helping verb comes right before the main verb, so it is am. Now, because the um, subject is doing something. I am doing something. This is in passive voice. I'm sorry, active voice. Let's look at number two. Number two says, she had decided on a model of the solar system. Again, I think it's easiest to find the main verb first, which is decided. The helping verb comes right before, so in this sentence it is had. And because the subject, she, is doing something, this again is active voice. Let's skip down to number four. The diagram was printed in an encyclopedia. So again, let's find our main verb, which is printed. Helping verb comes right before. And this subject is the object of the action being printed, meaning this is in passive voice. You will finish this page with the same directions. Go back to number three and complete five through 10. On Tuesday, you are assigned two pages, 62 and 63. The box on the top of page 62 states the progressive tenses take a form of the verb be and a present participle. Past participles for regular ver verbs take the same form as the past tense. Irregular verbs have irregular past participles. The three perfect tenses, so present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect, use a form of the verb have and the past participle to show a complete action. 
we're going to do a couple examples on this page so those um, rules make more sense. On this page, the directions state to read each sentence, underline the complete verb, and circle each participle. Write the tense of the complete verb on the line. So we have almost kind of three directions here. Number one says, we have selected a terrier for our next pet. My main verb here is selected. And I have the helping verb in front, have. So I want to underline all of my verb, the complete verb. And I need to circle my participle, which is selected. Now I need to decide, is it in um, perfect or progressive tense? And then is it past, present, or future? This question is in present perfect tense. I have the um, word have before selected indicating that I have a perfect tense and it's happening in the present. Number two states, our parents are assigning jobs for each of us. Assigning is my main verb. I want the whole verb phrase, the complete verb. So I need to drag my underline to include are. And my participle is assigning. Because my participle ends in ing, that is a clue to me that this is progressive. And the word in front, r, helps me realize that this is in present tense. So it's present progressive. We're going to do a couple more together because I know this is kind of tricky. I had requested meal preparations. Requested is my verb, my main verb. I need to click and drag to include had requested. And my participle is requested. I do not see it ending in ing, which would tell me that it's progressive. Therefore, I know it's in the perfect tense. And the word had before clues me into it being past perfect. Let's do one more and then you'll have a few to do on your own. Number four, my sister was hoping for evening walks. Again, I need to identify my verb. The complete verb was hoping. I need to circle my participle, which is hoping. I see it ending in ing, which again clues me into it being progressive. And the word before says was, which is past progressive. Take your time on this page and you'll need to finish 5 through 10 on your own. Slide 2 or page 63 is on special helping verbs, contractions, and troublesome words. The first bullet point states that special helping verbs express possibility or obligation. They include can, may, and must. 
A contraction is a shortened form of two words. It can be formed from a helping verb and the word not, or from a pronoun and a verb. An apostrophe indicates the missing letter or letters. On this page, you're going to rewrite each sentence forming a contraction from two of the words. Number one says, the lost explorer could not last much longer. So I need to decide in this sentence what could be a contraction. I see the two words could not and I can make that into the contraction couldn't. So for number one, I'm going to type the lost explorer couldn't last much longer. You will do the same thing for two through five. Your last page will be assigned and due on Wednesday. The box at the top just goes over the rules from the previous pages and the directions state to proofread the paragraph on the lines below, correct mistakes in spelling, verb tenses, and contractions. Let's take a look at the first sentence. A crowd was formed outside the courtroom an hour ago. I see a mistake in the verb tense of form. It should be in the progressive form, which would be forming. So when I retype that sentence, I will change form to forming. Let's look at the second sentence. Some people hadn't picked up the morning paper yet. I see a mistake with the contraction hadn't. It is missing the apostrophe. You will finish going through this paragraph, fixing any more mistakes. As always, please reach out to any of the reading teachers if you have questions or you are confused, and we will be more than happy to help you. Please make sure you're going back and looking at your comments before you take your grammar quiz on Thursday. Have a great day, fifth grade. Bye.